I'd like today to show you this um, 1962 TD21 Series 2 Saloon. Um, the TD series came out in 1959, um, a very elegant design based on the uh, Graber uh, Swiss Company original design, uh, and for many epitomizes Alvis through the 1960s with its um, classic shape and long-legged touring abilities. Uh, the Series 2 TD, um, as many enthusiasts will know, differentiates from the uh, Series 1 uh, with the twin inset auxiliary or spotlights uh, which disguise the air intakes. On the Series 1 it's purely a, um, a, a slit or a slot if you like, um, either side of the radiator. Um, there are a total of 784 TDs produced, of which 592 were saloons. Uh, this particular example was completed on the 6th of July 1962 and originally fitted with disc wheels, which it still wears now. The car has had only three previous owners, the first being a consultant at Norwich Hospital. Uh, often these cars went to uh, professionals or um, business managers or MDs uh, who liked the understated uh, elegance and luxury uh, without being a, a flashy car. This car is finished in Arctic Silver, which is a lovely colour uh, and contrasts nicely with the uh, burgundy leatherwork, which on this example is just nicely worn in. It, it's, it's worn without being too well worn. We found from our records the car was advertised in 2001 as being in concourse condition throughout, <coughs> following a body off restoration over a long period of time. I think it was 11 years actually. Uh, and the following year it featured on the Alvis Owner Club's calendar. It's a fine looking car uh, with recent expenditure um, creating reliability. It's also very smooth to run on this particular engine. It's a lovely colour scheme and an ideal purchase for those seeking a classic car and like me who are adverse to cleaning wire wheels. It can be viewed here at our showroom in Kenilworth by prior appointment. Yes, again, it's the um, conventional Alvis setup, the three litre uh, straight six engine, this time with uh, twin carburetors on the, on the TD series, um, provides 115 brake horsepower, uh, and it's good for a, around about 105 miles an hour. So it's, it's no slouch, but a very comfortable car in which to travel. 